Good morning, everybody. My name is Remy, and I'm with Dream Living Traditions. I figured uh, if we're going to be doing the um, homesteading, that I'm going to have to start trying more uh, veggies and fruits that I have not tried before so that I have a wider variety of plants that I can eat. So today, I'm going to start with an acorn squash. Never had it, but I hear it's good. I'm gonna rust it up, throw it into my salad, and uh, give you guys a little bit of a tidbit on what it tastes like and if I like the way um, this recipe said to do it. Okay? Okay, so I got the acorn squash. What it's telling me to do is cut it in half. It's uh, basically an oven roasted um, Parmesan and said some herbs and stuff too. Um, so I'm just gonna cut it in half and then um, scoop out all the seeds and then slice them a little bit thinner, I guess. Um, and then throw it in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so. Now I'm only gonna make half of this today because this is gonna be my lunch. Uh, and I also need to throw together a little salad to go with it. ready to go in the oven. Um, I'm keeping the seeds and I'm going to try and um, save some of them. So if I do like the flavor of it, I will uh, grow some eventually. I don't have the space for it here and on the balcony. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to see. So um, I would like to see if I can sneak it into work um, in my little garden that we have there and uh, try to do it there. But I just don't think that that's going to work out for me. So um, we'll figure it out. If not, I'll try and save them, you know, for the next couple of years and go from there. But I'll be back as soon as they're done. To mention is the Parmesan cheese. I forgot to do it, so I went ahead and added it. Now I'm gonna throw it back in the oven. Okay, so while we're waiting on that to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and make my salad for my lunch and um, maybe eat that with my salad. I'm trying to um, change my diet so that it kind of um, is more in tune with the homesteading life. Pull the acorn squash out of the oven and they look really, really good. Uh, in the meantime, while I was waiting for all of that to finish, or at least the acorn squash to finish uh, for about 20, 25 minutes, I went ahead and got my lunch together for the day um, and also cooked some pancakes, some sourdough pancakes for my leftover batter from yesterday morning. So um, I feel like I got a lot accomplished, which is awesome, but take a look at this. So there's my sourdough pancake with my homemade peanut butter, which we love. Made some hard boiled eggs for my salad. I'm gonna take some leftover corn. I'm not gonna eat all of that, but just take it there and probably leave it at the fridge at work and eat it for the, um, the next day. Some um, oranges and plums that I got from a local farmer here. And then there is the acorn squash. So this is gonna be my first bite. Um, I hope I really like this. All right, here we go. Mmm, that actually kind of reminds me of butternut squash, which I like. Maybe not quite as sweet, but that's really, really good. I like that. So we're going to put that on the list of stuff that I'm going to grow. Um, I believe it's a winter squash. I'd like to um, learn a little bit more about this acorn squash, but um, that is really good. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pack it up. I gotta get to work. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. We appreciate you, and I will see you next time.